If you are experiencing foundation issues, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. Lori Darlings in Fayetteville, Alabama presents the Coach John Limbaugh Show every Friday morning during the high school football season for our Coach's Corner. And Coach, we're talking off camera, uh, made enough plays to get the W and get in the playoff. Way to go. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, some, sometimes games um, come around like that one did last week. It was just a, it was a tough game. I knew Vincent would play very, very well and play very hard, and they did. They had a lot riding on the game, a chance for the playoffs, but our, our guys prevailed. And, you know, sometimes it, it takes all phases to, to win, of course, but last week our special teams came through mm -hmm. with a block punt, and, and uh, senior Blake Manchin picked the ball up, ran it 40 yards for a touchdown. That was the difference in the ball game. But sometimes that, that happens, and that, that's okay. You know, these games get exciting sometimes, and it's a lot of fun. Yeah, the uh, Wolves, uh, is this senior night here? Well, it's senior night uh, tonight for Bibby Comer and also their homecoming. Yeah, but uh, this highlights from last week uh, against Vincent. Oh, I thought you were talking about tonight. I got tonight on my mind. Yeah, that was uh, senior night for us and a big night for our, our players. And you can see them uh, number seven really running the ball hard uh, for, for them. A good ball player. Uh, number three ran uh, uh, very, very well for them. There's uh, Seth Limbaugh on a touchdown. A nice little hole there. Yeah, Seth had a good game. And, they blocked well on that one. We had a little trouble moving the football. There's a there's a interception right there. Uh, just didn't quite put enough on that one. Yeah. It was a, it was yeah. A, now Vincent's uh, got some pretty good athletes. They got some really good athletes, and uh, uh, but there's a there was a, um, a penalty on that play. A, uh, you know, you've been back. concerned uh, a lot of the year about tackling. Is that improving? Yes, it is. Uh, I tell you, our defense played outstanding last week. They really did. They the defense played a very hard-nosed, very tough uh, uh, football game. And mm -hmm. There's some uh, senior band members and senior football player numbers there and everything like that. And, and a big play right there. Seen. There's the big play right there. And then he's going to uh, say run You block in. it and pick it up, run it in. You block it, pick it up, run it in. He was uh, – I don't know who got it in zone first, him or me last week. <laughs> That was uh, pretty exciting stuff right there. After eight years, you still got the moves, Coach. Way to go. Still want <laughs> speed with you and stuff. I tell you what, hey. man. Uh, I decided right there just to stop because of, I might pull something if I keep running. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a good thing it's not tonight they're throwing that water on you. No, sure enough, my big goodness. Goal, but you know, a big 35 win. degrees is Big tough. win for Fett was 6-3 and three on the season. Um, uh, make the playoffs. Uh, and, and that's another big step for the Fett Wars football Absolutely. It's, it's a huge step for our program. And, I, I, you know, going to the playoffs is is, is a very special event in, in, for our school. And, and we want to, and it's nothing ordinary about going to the playoffs, but we want to make it the standard. Mm -hmm. We want to be going to the playoffs every year. And uh, this is only the third time in the history to go to the playoffs. And, and um, you know, we're looking forward to tonight's game. And we, we may be in the playoffs, but the season's not over. It's a big game tonight uh, with the Baby Comer Tigers. And I know that uh, Coach Adam Fawcett is doing a great job there. He's a great guy, great coach, doing a, a really awesome job there. And um, he's going to have his kids ready to play ball tonight. Mm -hmm. They've got a lot riding on it. The playoffs is riding on it tonight for them. And uh, but it's not so much trying to keep them out of the playoffs. We're not concerned about that. But what we're concerned about is getting another win, playing the game of football, and continuing on into the playoffs with the momentum. And you were in Coach Fawcett's position last week. You well, knew that the Vincent yeah. game was the game to yes. uh, make or break where yeah. you get in the playoffs or not, and B.B. Comer yeah. uh, needs to beat Fayetteville and uh, Pleasant Valley to lose for them to get in, so a lot of pressure there. Well, Pleasant Valley is going to lose. Now, they're playing on Hatchet. They're, they're, they're going to lose, but the thing about it is, is uh, and, and that should give them a little bit more incentive. I'm sure Coach Fawcett's already explained that to, to, to his team, but Oh, Hatch has got it, got it going on. Coach Scott yeah, Martin there. Over yeah, there. Coach Scott Martin's doing a great job there. But uh, BB Comer Tigers, they are in the same position we were last week, and, and we're fortunate to get the win. Anything can happen in a football game. But I, I, I told our kids, I said, guys, this is it. You, you, you know, this is where you laid on the line. And, and I'm sure Coach Fawcett's told his kids that. Um, we were just uh, very fortunate to get the win. That's where your, your, your team can take that next step. Mm -hmm. It's when you come down to a do-or-die situation and you get it done, you can, you can then take that next step. And I think that's what our program is doing now. But I can't say enough about our seniors. Really and truly, this is a great group of seniors. Um, 
uh, you know, we're going to miss them tremendously mm -hmm. when they graduate. But hopefully we get to play a lot more games with them this year. Hopefully we keep winning. Was the punt block on, or was that just a special play that he made, or what? No, the punt block was on. We uh, thought, thought we could get to it. And, and he'd been going uh, uh, after those things. And, and uh, Blake saw himself. He said, I can get this thing. I can, I can get this. So he, he got in there and got it. And, and uh, we were just very, very fortunate that happened. But that's part of the game. That's part of the game we practice, part of the game we plan for. So um, and when you have special teams doing what they're supposed to do, they can help you win a ball mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, something we want to try, to try to do. After the win clinches a playoff spot for Fayetteville, six and three on the season, one more regular season game to go. Uh, any letdown concerns this week uh, playing B.B. Comer after securing a playoff berth? No, sir. Uh, it's a rivalry game. Uh, our kids are looking forward to the ball game. I don't sell that down whatsoever. Okay. Um, I had somebody ask me, uh, erroneously, uh, a while back, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I think it was, uh, if we made the playoffs, well, how would we play for the uh, uh, next game, for that last game when mm -hmm. we rest people? Mm -hmm. I've never heard of such in my life. <laughs> you know, we're, we're going to go play every game to win the ball game. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not resting anybody. We're looking forward to the ball game. This uh, in county rivalry and in county school, and, and, and they, they very well may win the ball game, but we're going to do all we can to keep them from it. Our kids are going to get on that field, they're going to play, and they're going to play hard. And um, hopefully we'll come out with a victory. We've uh, done several B.B. Comer games as we have federal mm -hmm. games this year. B.B. Comer's got some good skill people. Absolutely. They're very good. Their quarterback is quite the athlete and makes uh, smart decisions. Uh, they got a couple of receivers very smart. We especially like a, a, um, a little freshman they got number 25, quick as lightning. Mm -hmm. And uh, number three, he can get up and go. So they got some great uh, skill players there. So uh, tonight, Fayetteville and B.B. Comer is homecoming uh, for B.B. Comer. And, and you've seen over the years uh, the trappings of yeah. homecoming and, and how that energy can sometimes <laughs> affect adversely a football team. Yeah, well, it's everything tonight for them. It's their, their homecoming, their senior night, I, I believe it yeah. is. And uh, they've had, they're having a concert. And... and uh, uh, one well, thing that happened tonight that's pretty important is they're having a food drive that we're uh, our, right. our boost club's taking a party, and that's that's the important thing that's mm -hmm. going on tonight is helping the less fortunate and helping them out. And, and but they got a lot going on tonight, and and to, and to keep all that in in line with a, the, the the sixteen year old mind is sometimes <laughs> difficult, you know. So, uh, Coach uh, John Limbaugh, the head football coach and athletic director at Fayetteville, and of course, right now. Uh, the football team headed to the playoffs next week to play Luverne. You got basketball season yeah. starting, so it's a busy time of the year. Uh, basketball season's on hold, just, okay. for, just for, for, for a little bit. I don't want it to be, but uh, you know, football in a small school, you don't got so many coaches. Okay, and you don't got so many players. Uh, a lot of our football players are basketball players mm, as well. So uh, you don't begin that next uh, sport until one end. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, right now, those are uh, those things are on hold a little bit. But, yeah, we're going to Laverne, and it'll be about a two-and-a-half-hour bus ride. But you know what? There'll be a big caravan of uh, federal uh, people going to that game because our people support all of our administrations uh, are going to be there supporting that great administration, great teachers will be there. And it's going to be a family affair there. This is uh, uh, Mike DuBose's old school. Yeah. Uh, he coached there for a while and, and hails from Laverne. So, uh, we're going to go in there with uh, everything we got, a lot of enthusiasm. And, and Is this the second there. playoff team you've had at Fayetteville? It's the second okay. playoff team we've had at Fayetteville. We went in 2015, mm -hmm. went to the second round in 2015. And uh, so hopefully we can make this the, the standard in year after year. Yeah. Well, uh, I know that Fett will have a big crowd over at Legion Stadium tonight. Uh, just, yes. uh, you know, it's, it's funny that uh, uh, families are living Fett will come to school here. Families live in Silicon and go to school at Fett will. Right. <laughs> uh, you know, that's, uh, you know, it's, it's a close knit community. Uh, the people of Silicon and then, of course, Comer and, and uh, and uh, we ourselves, we're all very close. Yeah. And, you know, Chillsburg, yeah. it's all very close, very close knit. And uh, we care about them, and hopefully they care about us too. What, what does it come down to tonight for Fayetteville to be successful? Honestly, it, it comes down to who wants it more. We have got to control the football. We cannot have silly turnovers. I'm still sporting over those six turnovers <laughs> against Thorsby. Can't get over it. I, you know, you always have one game, seems like every year at least we do. 
uh, that just sticks in your crawl. And I'm going to think about that one six, eight months from now. I'm going to be sitting in the tree stand in a couple of weeks, and I'm going to be thinking about the Thornsby game. It just, it just kills me. A deer's had it, man. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Something had to die that day. So, <laughs> well, uh, but uh, but you'll have those you know six turnovers. I just can't get over it. You, yeah. know, you cannot win a ball game like that. So tonight we cannot turn the ball over. We just can't right. do it. Well, good luck to the Wolves tonight, and of course in the playoffs. And we'll talk with Coach Limbaugh again next week. And uh, the Wolves, hey, I'll be seven and three next week, and uh, are headed to the playoffs against Luverne a week from tonight. And uh, Coach, good luck against BB uh, Comer tonight. A lot of people will be there. It'll be on television, so it's going to be a big, big night homecoming for the Tigers. The Fayetteville Wolves, 6-3. and three. What a fantastic year. And we look forward to it going on. A few more rounds in the playoffs. Yeah, thank you, Jimmy. Appreciate all you guys doing. Go Wolves. All right. Back for more Daybreak after this.